Hey everyone, John Ryan here with Solutions 8, and another video about the Googling stuff you could do in your Google Ads account. Uh, so it, today it's going to be about uh, talking about di diagnosis. Um, there's actually a really unique debugging tool inside of Google Ads that tells you exactly the reason why your campaign isn't doing what you want it to do. Um, and not like, you know, why isn't selling like a million t-shirts in one day, uh, but it's saying, you know, why isn't this keyword showing up for this ad, in, or this ad showing up for this keyword in this geographical region? Um, and it comes from a real life experience that actually happened today. We just were working with a prospective client that actually became a client and he has a very specific set of needs that he wanted a very particular keyword to show up in a very specific area and get it right to the top of the page. And so we went through some, some quick debugging and found out that there was actually a very obvious negative keyword that was stopping probably a bunch of the quality type of conversions that could have been coming in. And he wasn't sure you know, what was going on with the campaign and using this tool we're able to identify, hey, this is just one word here that was stopping you know, probably thousands of really local relevant search terms from showing up um, and probably is gonna help turn around this campaign. I mean, it's to be determined since we just started working together, but it's something that I think that a lot of people have questions about, like why isn't this showing up? Or when I type in this, um, this keyword into Google, you know, I'm not seeing my ad and I don't know why. Um, and so I'd like to kind of share with you how to preview and diagnose your own ads in Google Ads. So that's what we're gonna be talking about today. If you're in your account, a very easy way to do this is to go up to the tools and settings area here. And also just as an FYI, um, this is the name of the client up here and this one's gonna be blurred out um, because obviously we wanna protect the privacy, but I wanna kind of share with you in real time what happened. So go up to the tools and settings section here. When you click on that, you're gonna see ad preview and diagnosis. And the cool part about this is they're an emergency vet clinic. And you can see a few of the keywords here, you know, like animal clinic, animal emergency clinic, emergency pet clinic has matched a few of the different, um, a few of the different keywords, but it says your ad's not showing. And now this is one that's really simple. We're actually in Scottsdale, Arizona. The client is looking for um, a very specific area of Florida, but the reason, it tells you the reason why, uh, why your ad's not showing. And you can actually see them, whoops, you can actually see that here. Uh, let me move this other way here. You can actually see it down here that both campaigns that are, have very similar um, very similar strategies, just running on different days and times, uh, both suffer from the same issue. And what's nice about that is you can say, well, okay, so Animal Clinic, um, the search location doesn't match the campaign's location and target settings. There's would be a clue. Maybe you're running, um, maybe you just think you're running nationwide and you're actually not really targeting, you know, Arizona or, you know, let's say Texas. And the person that says, well, if I'm in Scottsdale, Arizona and I do this search, is my ad going to show up? If it doesn't, we, we're not sure why. This reason right here will tell you exactly why. Um, but if you type in, you know, the area that, that they are in, which is Deerfield Beach, Florida, great. Your ad's showing at the top. Now, um, I apologize for having the name here. We're gonna have to blur that out, but you can see that the ad is showing right here at the top. Um, and so what's nice about that is then you have you know a few other different um, results down here, but our ad is showing for exactly what keyword we want right at the top. And that's only because I changed my location. But if you were to search for another thing, like let's say um, you know, chiropractor, obviously emergency animal clinic is not gonna to wanna to show chiropractor. Um, and just so it says your ad is not showing here. Now this one isn't a reason why it's not showing, but this one's pretty obvious. It's not like a settings like, oh, this should have worked, but it's not working because of here. Um, you know, let's see, uh, pet hospital. Let's try that. Not showing here as well. Um, let's try one more. All right. So these are not keywords that I'm going after. So that's why it's going to be, um, but if I do vet near me, my ad's showing for the keyword vet near me. Two of my extensions are not being shown. Um, is eligible but not showing. This is eligible, but a different extension with better performance was shown instead. So it kind of gives you the reasons why um, something was shown instead. But it'll tell you if the keyword that you're targeting, it's best to use the keywords that you're targeting. And if you're not uh, targeting that keyword and you type the keyword into ad preview diagnosis, just to say your ad's not showing because obviously you're not targeting that keyword. So it's a bad example, but it kind of gives you, you know, what what's going on and, and why. Um, uh, let me just see here and try a few other ones. Yeah, it's still going to be, even though exact match event near me is an exact match here, it'll show you. But this tool is really great. 
you get to see you know mobile devices versus desktops if they're in a specific audience or not the locations what keyword for what campaign and what ad group is being shown for it and why um really really cool stuff so i would highly suggest that if you're having you know impression issues or you're not seeing your ads showing up and you don't know why hop into ad preview and diagnosis and you'll be able to see exactly what's going on um and if it's you know the wrong targeting settings or maybe has a low ad rank um yeah or maybe you ran out of budget that happens quite often. So um, I would definitely ask you to take a look at this before, you know, maybe getting too upset with a, a campaign because this can solve a lot of your problems. So uh, that's it. This is John Ram with Solutions 8. If you like this video, please like, comment, share, subscribe, do all the things, hit the bell notification so that I can annoy you at one o'clock in the morning when I produce a new video and wake you up so you can watch it. Uh, thanks a lot, everyone. I really appreciate it. Bye.